Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video about the items I will be bringing with me down to Mexico. I did something like this for Colombia back in 2017 and I'll link the video below in case you're curious how my gear has evolved over time. And first we'll look at some of the bags that I have, uh, I'll be bringing with me. So this time I'm bringing two backpacks instead of a backpack and a duffel bag. And then we're going to look at the technology and the gear that I'll have with me. So what's not featured is this GoPro 5 that I'm holding right now and the Joby Gorilla Pod that I have and also this lavalier microphone and this uh, Panasonic recorder that I have. And then after that we'll look at some of the clothes and other gear that I'll be bringing with me. And finally I'll do a quick time lapse video so you can see how everything packs together. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I'm bringing. I am bringing three bags with me, but what I'll be doing is I'll be stuffing one inside the other. Um, the reason I'm bringing three is because it's more flexible, uh, it's more modular, you can move things about if you need to. So I'll be using this kind of cheap bag, but usually for basketballs, has nice thick straps and I'll be keeping all my clothes and toiletries in here so when I go to the restroom I just carry this whole thing with me and I don't have to worry about uh, not having something. Uh, this will be my main laptop bag. It's the Under Armour Team Hustle 3.0 I believe. But a very good laptop bag. I just got this off some airline points that I had left over and uh, it's been serving me pretty well. Um, so this will actually fit in this next backpack this is an REI Trail 40 backpack I had since Columbia and it's really great. It comes with a lot of um, slots and zippers that you can use and also has a rain fly that you can uh, put on top of the backpack if you really need to in a pinch. And then the gray backpack actually fits in here so very convenient for moving stuff around. Same thing with the black one into the REI of course. So that's how I'll be packing all my gear, basically into these three bags, and I'll move them in and out depending on how I'm traveling. So we'll start from the top here. I have a MacBook Pro 2015 with a, uh, it's a Nebula map cover by iLED, um, I believe. And it, I like, what I like about it, it has a world map uh, silhouette on it, and then it blocks the Apple symbol too, which kind of deters people from knowing it's a MacBook and wanting to steal it. <laughs> so that's my computer and then I also have some hard drives with me. This one is a Western Digital and it's a 4 terabyte one to store all my video works and that sort of stuff um, and pretty much everything else as well. And then this is a Toshiba 1 terabyte and this is for my time machine, just plug in and just backs up uh, everything on my computer. So I have two of those. And then these are just various cables that I need, uh, USB 3 and then just regular uh, micro USB and just various other ones that I have here for the hard drives. And then moving on, this is the keyboard. I have an Anchor Bluetooth keyboard. It's a ultra compact slim keyboard and it's work, working pretty well. The keystrokes and everything are very smooth. I love it uh, compared to the other uh, cheap keyboard I got from Anchor. So definitely uh, a good pickup. It disconnects sometimes, but most of the time it works very well and it reconnects in just a couple seconds or so. So it's not too bad. And then of course I have my Roos um, laptop stand, helps me prop it up for ergonomic reasons and really helpful. Uh, I've had it for a couple months now and I gotta say it does make a big difference. Um, there are some knockoffs online but I would recommend going with just a regular Roos. I know it's a little bit pricey at 70 bucks or so a piece but totally worth it. It's more stable than some of the knockoffs that I've seen. And then uh, I was looking for a Bluetooth mouse and I tried a, another one but it didn't work as well. It kept disconnecting but this one is a Logitech M720 I believe and it works great. It has all the buttons that you need and it has the back button and forward button here that you can program. There's this also button I didn't find out till later but uh, if you push this button it 
um, minimizes all the windows or uh, zooms out and then you can switch windows on the Mac so pretty great and of course it also features uh, just the regular um, USB little port here if you want to plug that in instead of using Bluetooth but very good quality and maintains a good connection almost all the time and then uh, I have some Bluetooth um, earbuds that I bought these are a lot cheaper than the Apple earbuds uh, those are like a hundred something a piece this was only 50 bucks and works very uh, very very well I use it for running I use it for a lot of other things as well but I'm trying to go Bluetooth uh, this year so um, as you can see n nothing is wired um, there and then of course I always have a mouse pad it's useful because some pl sometimes you'll be sitting on a glass surface and then you just don't have anything to put your mouse on and before I would use like a notebook or something but that got old pretty fast so I would recommend bringing a mouse pad it's not much more um, you can probably find a slimmer one than I do that I have here but I recommend bringing one of those and then various chargers this is the MacBook charger and then this is the extension for it and then I also have uh, this surge protector from Belkin it has USB ports on the top and then just regular uh, electricity ports and then this head actually also swivels so it's very useful um, for just plugging in different places like I did this in Japan and then uh, this is a fast charger for my LG phone but it doubles up as some of the uh, charging for the other cables that I have here just plug that in right there um, that's gonna be more stationary I'll just keep that in the house usually and then moving right along I have my Kindle Paperwhite for reading all my um, tech books and all my other books, uh, motivational books, productivity books, that sort of stuff. Got that there. And then this is just uh, boxes of various things that I keep with me. Um, I'll have some spare batteries just so I can replace. I don't have to run out and get things if I'm saying, if, I, if I'm up in a mountain or something, you know. Then I got a USB drive. It's a 16 gig USB drive for using on um, Windows. Uh, it's a reformatting disk, so like I can just plug it in and just reformat my computer. Although my MacBook has its own built-in disk, so I don't have to really use this. But I bring it anyways, just in case I want to put on, um, you know, travel documents and going to the store and printing them out like I did in Colombia. And then, of course, have your micro SD adapter because you can plug in things that um, you might not think of sometimes, but that's always good to have. Uh, earplugs, uh, just some uh, floss, and then just some some of this uh, cloth to clean the screen with this, the micro clean, I, I don't know what you call it, but I use the clean cloth. Uh, same thing over here. And I have a flashlight too, it's a headlamp. I just keep it in case I run into dark territory and then, or I need it in a pinch just to find something in, uh, somewhere, so I keep that. And then I have a lot of headphones as you can see. One is from the LG phone that I have. Uh, it has a microphone uh, port in there, or a microphone little slit that you used to record your voice. And then this is just a Panasonic cheap headphones. Um, I found them pretty comfortable and the thing I like about them is that you can definitely tell right away which side it belongs on because the ear earbud always goes towards the front so that's what I like about them and the sound quality is pretty great too so um, good to have there. Moving right along I have some just an eye mask and then some earplugs and what I did was I kind of disperse these things around my my bag so that I have access to them. Um, it's just easy to, you know, shut out the world if you need to um, using earplugs and eye mask. Uh, got some eye drops, got some uh, chapstick uh, in case I need that. And then just various pens and highlighters and a sharpie. These come in handy, just kind of write stuff <laughs> when you need it. Uh, definitely a notebook for writing your thoughts down and ideas and then I have a folder underneath just to keep um, documents that I travel and just like blank sheets of paper I need to write something and and use that and then I also brought along a carabiner 
It's very useful when you have keys for like an apartment, like an Airbnb. Just snap it on and then clip this to your belt loop or whatever you want. Um, I've always traveled this my whole life. I have this had this since high school, I think. And this has been through a lot with me. So yeah, pretty helpful. Locks that I have. These are very good quality, very good build. Um, I have a link. I forgot exactly what company these are. But they are TSA ready. You see they have the little slot at the bottom. And they that, that gives them an uh, option to open your suitcase or whatever if you traveling okay and then moving right along i got my passport I have my yellow card just in case that's needed and i have some various credit cards and everything here obviously i'm not going to show you that <laughs> and then uh, i have this little bag that a friend gave me and it just keeps your passport and stuff all together so i just keep it in one place and this year i'm traveling with an lg uh, G6 phone. It's waterproof. It's fast. It's it was cheap. Has everything I need and has a dual SIM card. This is actually the international version, so it has 64 gigs instead of the uh, I forgot how many for the U.S. But this is the international version, and that's why I have that international plug. <laughs> and I think it's gonna serve me pretty well. Um, I have various apps on it um, for travel and everything. And then this is my fake wallet. You can see it uh, says Ferrari on it. Um, it's my fake wallet. So I have some US cash in there in case I need to exchange money. But most of the time I anticipate to be using just Uber or my credit card or something like that. And then also in this I have uh, copies of my passport and driver's license. So I'll actually split these up here, but I usually carry this around with me in other countries. So in case like I get robbed or something, I just give them this, but I really won't be losing as much because it's a fake wallet. I'm leaving all my main gear in this gray bag here. So uh, always good to have a gray wallet. It hasn't, hap hasn't happened to me yet, but you know, uh, one of the advice was uh, keeping a fake wallet. So that's good. A uh, deck of cards, I don't know. Um, just keep it just in case, uh, just for fun. You have someone to actually play with some friends. Um, there's a ton of games out there. You can go online and look. And then moving right along, we have some of the, um, just the bathroom stuff. So got my shaver, um, got some more floss. Uh, these are nail clippers and um, that sort of stuff. Uh, tooth tooth uh, toothbrush a comb some mouthwash some toothpaste deodorant some soap and a pair of goggles for just swimming because um, I don't like to get chlorine <laughs> in my eyes or if I'm going into like swimming in a creek or something you know it's nice to have and that's it for the technology and the various stuff that I'm bringing um, next up we'll be looking at more of the clothes that I'll be bringing with me. I tried to minimize it down this time, but uh, I had a lot of room left over for if I'm bringing two bags, so I figured why not just bring a lot of stuff here. Uh, this this is the stuff that I'm going to be wearing. Just uh, my socks, underwear, jeans, and a shirt, t-shirt, and this all everything else will be going inside the bag. This is a quick dry towel, a pair of jeans five pairs of socks. Um, these are tank tops. I'm debating whether I should bring these or not. Um, I think they're useful for exercise and you know, inside the house just lounging around but it does take a, a little bit out if I you know, don't bring those with me. Underwear and then what I usually do is I bring um, swimming trunks as using as shorts and also as exercise pants. Um, I don't like to bring I like things that are multiple function, I guess. <laughs> and these are the same shirts that I had in Columbia. These are just quick dry shirts from Old Navy. They're very useful, um, easy to wash, and you can just you know, buy some detergent or soap and just wash them in the sink and they'll hang them up and dry. So very convenient. A uh, pair of sandals, of course. And then off the screen, I'm gonna be wearing a pair of um, New Balance shoes just for um, walking around everyday stuff. I don't think I'll be bringing dress shoes around this time because um, I don't really think I'm going to use it that much. Uh, pair, uh, just a, a belt, 
And then this is my rain coat or cold weather coat as well. So if weather gets bad, just pop it out and just wear that. And then that's the majority of the clothes that I'm bringing. Um, I expect it to be pretty hot over in Mexico, so I probably don't need too much. So I might take some of this stuff out. I'm still debating. <laughs> so we took a look at all the different bags, the different gears and technologies, and the different clothings that I'll be bringing. And so next up, I'm going to just do a quick video of me packing up all the stuff so you can see how everything fits together. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you see you next time. Peace.